<laughs> it's only on one leg. Alright, we're working on the town today. Uh, I wrote on forms like a while back ago before I bought the town that the universal joints on the front drive shaft uh, apparently worked themselves out and people have been putting like JB weld on them or just welding the end caps. So I figured uh, since I have a welder, I'll just weld the end caps. So I just put the ground on the drive shaft down here and then I already put one tack on one side. The uh, a thing to this that you want to keep in mind is you don't want to get it too hot because then it'll burn up the grease inside of the U-joint. So tack it, let it cool off, tack another side, let that cool off. And then we'll have to put it in neutral to turn the drive shaft over so I can get the other two sides. You don't need much. All you need is like a little spot weld to just hold that end cap from coming out of there. Pretty simple. Um, you can easily do it with JB weld, I think, if you just clean your area up good enough. Once I tack the other two sides, I'm gonna take a little bit of paint and spray it on her to keep it from rusting. Guys, I'm an idiot. So, I thought if I just threw it in neutral, I could be able to rotate the drive shaft underneath it. You know, give her one of these. And uh, I put it in neutral and I couldn't rotate it. So I was like, all right, back tires gotta come off the ground. So I put these jack stands underneath the A-arms and I moved the jack to the back, which <clears throat> maybe I should start out with I'm doing this on my trailer which is on a hill yeah that that makes it that makes it sketchy so I jacked the back end up and then once I got the ass end jacked up I remembered when I pulled it on the trailer I put it in four-wheel drive and never took it out it's still not disengaging all right so I guess you got to jack the ass end up This is getting sketchy. That jack's only on. It's only on one leg. That one's on two. And I need to get it. I can't push it forward. All this to fix something that might not even break. All right, so I was able to get this tire to spin. I got the axle where I needed to go. I already climbed up and looked at it. So I think by the time I drop this down, I'll need to lift it back up and redo it all over again. Let's find out. Let's go take a gander at this. Oh. Oh, beautiful. Check that out. Look at that. Ow. This was a nice shirt. Alright, that's good. Now we gotta address the recall. Oh my goodness. The only thing that sucks is whenever Honda puts a recall up, everybody on Facebook, like off road forums, stares the shit out of it. So everybody's like, oh no, Honda's got another recall. And it's like, don't mind us. We're just uh, we're just gonna fix it ourselves. Come on, you little bitch. Thank you. Three-ton low-profile jacks are the best ones to buy for working on anything. All right, now that the uh, Honda Town decided to unload itself, making it easier to get into the back trunk area. I left it in neutral and it managed to roll over to two by four on the trailer. Anyways, still in neutral. We're gonna address this issue. 
easy, easy issue to get to. What is going on? So, maybe I should remove this toolbox. Let me remove the toolbox, and I guess I'll put it in park. All right, I got the cap off of the intake. Uh, I, I just replaced this air filter. The recall is on a screw. I'll show you the screw in a minute. I gotta go grab a vacuum because a leaf just fell down into the air intake. Look at that. That's the leaf that fell down into my air intake. People hate these little DeWalt vacuums. I absolutely love this thing. Uh, the filter sucks because it's so small, but it does like the little jobs perfectly. So, so apparently this little screw right here is backing out and uh, somehow falling into the air intake. Mine seems really tight. Everything seems really tight. So I figured, I checked it earlier, so I didn't think I'd have too many problems with it, but you never know. I'm gonna load it back up on the trailer again and just put the straps around it, get ready for Friday morning, because Friday morning I'm gonna head out early to Rush Off Road. Since I'm at it, uh, I'll show you guys how I strapped a Honda down. All about tutorials in this video. I bought these loop straps off Amazon. These are so nice. They're like a typical car strap is. But what you can do with these is you can take the loop, slide it through. I do the A-arm. You can loop around the tire too if you want. Uh, so I just do the A-arm. If you loop on your A-arm, you don't have to worry about your uh, suspension and compression and stuff. Also, if you keep your beer in a box when you put it in the cooler, you don't have to worry about your beer getting shaken up while you're riding around. Once you figure out that no matter what you buy is going to have problems, just go buy what you want. I wanted a town, preferably two-door, because I have no friends, and I ended up getting a four-door town. But that's it for this video. Uh, if you like it, give it a like. Hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned for more uh, Honda videos, or whatever other videos I decide to put out, because I don't bandwagon side-by-side -side videos like a lot of other people do, because it is a fab that's going out right now. There's just a ton of people posting side-by-side -side videos, at least I see from. So thank you all for watching. We'll see you in the next video.